Hi, Umaze. Welcome to our video. My name is Sung Hee Yoon. I'm the Director of Technology and Innovation at Umaze. And before I say anything else, I wanted to tell you that all the directors at Umaze, myself included, we miss you guys. We miss seeing you guys in person. We miss all of our in-person activities. Um, but because we miss you so much, we wanted to make these videos for you. We wanted to provide you with ideas and resources that you can use at home with your family. So I hope you find them useful and I hope that we can see you guys in person in the future, but we miss you and thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy these videos. Bye. Hi, I'm Coach Megan. I'm Coach Daniel. And we're here to talk to you about wheelchair basketball today. A hello to our new and returning Wolverines. We hope that this video will give you some ideas for skills to work on while still at home to stay active with you and your family. First skill we're gonna teach today is passing. So we're gonna teach you how to do bounce passes, chest passes, and really any other sort of pass you'll see during a wheelchair basketball game. First pass we're gonna to teach today is a bounce pass. Now keep in mind if you if your child doesn't use a wheelchair or you don't use a wheelchair, a folding chair works just as well to sort of learn, make sure that you're passing at the right level uh, from player to player. So just grab a folding chair and bring it outside and, and give it a go. Now when we do a bounce pass, you want it to bounce about two-thirds of the way between you and the player you're passing it to. The other thing to keep in mind, make sure that the other player is ready to catch the ball before you throw it. Perfect. Now we're going to switch to a chest pass. And that means the ball does not bounce between you and the other player. The last type of pass is passing on the move. So what I'm going to do is move a little bit to my right, and Coach Megan will pass me the ball with a bounce pass. I will pass it back to her, then I will move to my left, and she will make a pass back to me with a bounce pass. Another skill you can work on is wheeling. This is really important in wheelchair basketball to get your maneuvering down. So consider taking what objects you already have and setting up your own little obstacle course. You can then practice weaving in and out of the obstacles. If you want more of a challenge, you can move the obstacles closer together or set up additional obstacles to weave through. If you want less of a challenge, consider spacing them out more and working them closer together as you get more proficient with maneuvering. Another very important skill is picking the ball up off the ground. So Coach Daniel is going to demonstrate how we can wheel forward and use the wheel of the wheelchair to actually pin the ball to it and continue moving forward to lift the ball up off the ground. Something else you can practice on your own is rolling the ball slightly ahead of yourself and going after it. A lot of times in basketball the ball will not be completely still, so this is an extra way to challenge yourself. Another skill that you can practice is dribbling. So as a reminder in wheelchair basketball the rule is two pushes to one dribble. Just a few reminders, obviously we want you to get outside whenever possible, but this is Michigan, so as the weather gets a little bit colder, you could still do many of these drills, however you could do them in the garage is one option, or maybe in a basement if you have that at home as well. Just make sure you get your parents' permission to do it inside. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're doing some of these drills with a friend or a neighbor, make sure you guys are both wearing masks. Another good drill you can practice if you're working on your hand-eye coordination is throwing the ball up and catching it. If you're doing this drill outdoors, see how high you can get it and still be controlled in your catching. If you're indoors, be aware of the ceiling. The last thing you can do is to help build arm strength, and that's to use little hand weights. These are five pound weights, but you can go lower. Two or three pound weights are also available. You can get those at any sort of local store or sporting goods store. If you don't have those available and you can't get to a store, soup cans can also work uh, to help you build your strength. So here are three quick exercises you can do with these hand weights. You could do arm curls in front of you like this. You can then go out to the side. So you want to hang your arm down, fully extended, 
and raise it up to a 90 degree angle. The final one would be to hold it over your head, bend at the elbow, and then raise up. So do each of these exercises with both hands. And you can do them in repetitions of 10. Thanks for joining us here today. We hope we gave you some good ideas for basketball skills and drills that you can work on while we're still apart. That's right, we miss you. We want everyone to stay as safe as possible. Go blue and let's roll. All right, you Mays. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep checking back for more videos we'll be making in the future. But until then, stay safe, go blue and go you Mays.